Hi there, this is David, and I have some pretty great news for you! It looks like Sakaguchi and Yoshi P want to re-release, remaster, remake some great games from the PS1 era, and I do want to tell you all about that today, and I do think that that's worth a sub, as I do try my hardest to hit 100,000 subscribers. And with your help, your like, and your sub, I do know that I can get there. So thank you so much for your support of all that. I really do want to get that, you know, Oh, that little subscriber plaque or whatever. I think that would be really cool to hang up back there. So, there was this interview with 4Gamer, and they were talking about the various games that they would want to see re-released and remade for today's audiences so that, you know, modern gamers can get a hold of these games that I played back whenever I was a teenager. And we know that remakes and remasters are in. They are some quick cash, a quick infusion of cash, and a lot of companies are in on the game. I mean, just look at the release list for 2025. It is filled to the brim with a whole bunch of remakes and remasters. We have the Lunar 1 and 2 collection, the Suikoden 1 and 2 collection, the Tales of Graces F remaster, Xenoblade Chronicles X literally just got announced like the other day. That's coming out for the Nintendo Switch. There's Trails in the Sky, the first as well, that is getting a remake. Then there's the Kickstarter things that are going and, on. You know, Arm you Fantasia and Penny Blood coming out, harkening back to Wild Arms and Shadow Hearts on the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. But what is Square Enix up to? Well, this year they did Visions of Mana, which was a throwback back to the basics, back to the Trials of Mana approach for the Mana series, and it did, you know, gangbusters. There's the Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remastered, which is a remaster remake of an NES game, which was remade for the SNES and the Game Boy Color, and the Nintendo Switch and Mobile. There's Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven as well that just came out, and you know, that's a remake of an SNES game as well. And then coming up in December, there's Fantasia Neo Dimension, which is a port uh, of a, and also kind of an upgraded remake and everything, of an Apple Arcade game as well. And then what do they have down the pike for next year with Square Edix? Well, they have more remakes! <laughs> we know that Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD 2D remaster is coming out, and also Saga Frontier 2 has been being teased for about a good year or so now. So, what is still available? Well, let's go and actually look at this interview. The question is, what if Sakaguchi and Yoshida were to create a new game together? Okay, so, Yoshi P says, I am a fan of Yasumi Matsuno, so I want to leave Vagrant Story and Final Fantasy Tactics to future generations so they can always be played on any platform. Vagrant Story, Final Fantasy Tactics, woo! To be honest, I don't have much interest in remakes or remasters, but I think it's very important that a masterpiece can be played properly with the test of time. Also, since Mr. Sakaguchi's grandson was born, maybe a sequel to Parasite Eve. Wow, we got three bangers right here. Then they go on to say, Parasite Eve is a pretty old title, but it still has its fans. Is there no talk of continuing the series with the company? Then Mr. Yoshida responds and says, to make a game, you need someone at the center to wave the flag and say, hey, let's aim for this. But if that person leaves, even if the talk comes up, it is difficult to make it happen. Also, Square Enix today is a company where fans of games that Mr. Sakaguchi and his team have gathered. Especially for most developers, they probably think, is this really something that we should do? And I think it's hard to prepare ourselves to do it ourselves. But there are a lot of voices from fans, and I think it's a title that could do a lot more if we make it with the current technology. Wouldn't that be freaking sweet? So let's talk about each of these games, starting with the Final Fantasy Tactics. This was part of the NVIDIA leak, gosh, what, three, four something years ago and everything came out of that NVIDIA leak, except pretty much so far, Final Fantasy Tactics. And we heard the reason why that didn't come out yet is because they wanted to put out the Tactics Ogre remake to kind of test the waters, but that was kind of a failure. Not really because the Tactics Ogre remake was bad, but because of the timing. That was whenever they released a billion games within like a two month period. It was so dumb, I couldn't believe it. But that CEO is out, we have a new CEO in, and he would be a fool not to remake this game. It is a watershed game. It introduced me to the tactical genre. It probably introduced a lot of people to the tactical genre. I was a Nintendo kid, 
I had the NES and the SNES growing up, there weren't a lot of tactical games on those systems, like, at all, like, seriously. There was, what, maybe Gemfire and Ogre Battle March of the Black Queen, which was both incredibly rare. There were Shining Force games over on the Sega. I didn't have a Sega. So whenever I flipped over the PlayStation, that introduced me to the RPG uh, tactical genre. It also introduced me to the Land of Ivalice, where all of the tactics game take place, as well as Vagrant Story takes place in Ivalice as well. This game right here, talk about another watershed game. Gosh, I still have this all together right there, the disc, the instruction manual. It even came with this, it says 2000 Collectors CD with various um, demos and things like that. But this was not only a great game, but Famitsu Magazine itself scored it as a 40 out of 40, basically saying it was a masterpiece. And like, I think it was like third game of all time to ever get a 40 out of 40. And it takes place in Ivalice, but it takes place on, you know, a little like haunted mansion sort of thing on this island called Leomande, and you play as Ashley Riot, and you're there to investigate a murder, but then you're like framed for the murder of this duke, and it's kind of dark and dreary and mysterious, and then you play through the events, um, kind of going up through like a week before the murder takes place and seeing what actually happened and unraveling those mysteries before it happened. I do think that a remake of it would be great, though, because if you play it now, it is a bit archaic. It's uh, like you have to like, you get into battle and everything stops and you have to like choose which body part you want to aim for, the right hand, the head, the leg, the torso, whatever. So combat can take a hot minute um, with that, but I think that that would be a great candidate for a remake. Then they go on to talk about Parasite Eve and they talk about maybe ma even making a sequel for Parasite Eve, which would be just so freaking cool. Um, but the thing is, is that Parasite Eve already has a sequel. At Parasite Eve 2, then it also had Third Birthday. Nobody really liked Third Birthday, so we're not gonna talk about right. <laughs> we're not gonna really talk about that one right now. I have Parasite Eve right here as well. It looks like I got it for ten dollars back in the day. It also came with like a little oh collector's disc or whatever. So yeah, I still have it in pretty pretty sweet condition right there. I just had to bring it out for the video right there. But we all know that the horror genre is very popular. And this is pretty much like their flagship horror RPG series. It's more of like an action well, RPG, which they like. You know, you see Square Enix making action RPGs all the time. And people like the horror genre. So to me, it makes sense for them to make a fourth game um, and, and just see where the storyline would go. So this is very, very, very exciting news. Again, we know that remakes and remasters are big business. A lot of companies are doing them. We know that Square Enix is on the remake, the remaster bandwagon as well. We know that they're coming out with games. All we really know that they're coming up with though is the Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD, the Saga Frontier 2 rumor, which is pretty much confirmed, and the Final Fantasy 7 Part 3. That's pretty much all we know that's going on in the future, so they need more games. And why not? make these? Why not make Final Fantasy Tactics Remastered and Vagrant Story and Parasite Eve? What's stopping them? I think this is really exciting and I want to hear your thoughts in the comments as well. So let me know how you feel about these remakes and remasters and maybe there's even a Chrono Trigger one there under the wraps. We don't know how cool would that be too. Anyway y'all, I just wanted to discuss this, give you my thoughts on it, and as always, have a good day.